Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to show you how to clean silver today. I'm going to clean a silver dime. First you need a pot, and then presto, you need some water, and you'll need some aluminum foil. The next thing you do is you need to make that boil. You can see a little bit of bubbles on the left hand side there. I'm going to go ahead and take some tongs. I'm going to push it down. I'm going to introduce some of that hot water to the top of the aluminum foil. The whole purpose here is we want to make a, make a little bath, like a little hot tub for the for the coin that I'm going to be bathing, so to speak. Alright, so we need hot water, boiling water. We need aluminum foil. And we need some baking soda. Good old baking soda. So, bam! There's your baking soda. <laughs> Alright, so I made a little bit of bath there. Um, there is Arm & Hammer baking soda. <coughs> Camera fogged up, so there you go. I'm going to dump a little bit more in there. There's there's probably plenty in there right now, but I don't want to half do things, so we fill it in. All right, so that water's pretty hot. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a dime that I found at San Refugio Beach. Uh, I might put a little card up here in the corner so you can link to it. So it says 1957. It's got a little uh, circle thing going on in the head there. There's the back. It's a pretty coin. So you just drop it in on top of the, the baking soda bath. I'm going to speed it up here. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is going to be tossing that coin back and forth, making sure it's got equal opportunity for it to have its sides hit the baking soda. Introduce new hot water in there, just in case it wasn't hot enough inside the aluminum foil bath. And then put some more baking soda on there, because I like doing that. That's what you need. I don't know what chemical reaction is taking place, but there is one taking place between the baking soda and, and the tarnish on the coin and the silver there. Just breaking it up. You can actually see on some of the aluminum foil where the tarnish is coming off and attaching to it. Uh, when you take it up later, it, it looks pretty nasty. So, all right, so it's getting a little bit cleaner. All that black has come off the tarnish there. It's turned a little bit brown. Add a little bit more. Going to go f just for a little bit more uh, in the water. And when I feel like I've done it long enough, which has been probably about two or three minutes, because I'm speeding this up about four times the speed, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and put it on a little bit of a paper towel there. So you got a ring and a couple other dimes I'm about to work on. Dry it off, and here's the end product. So once I get it to that point, then I take some toothpaste and I rub it around in a circular motion get all that tarnish off now this part will make the coin collectors cringe because you know it's got some raised lettering and if you rub a silver coin that's a soft metal you actually could wear down the, the lettering and, and some of the detail that's on the coin it actually would lose some of its value now for me as a metal detector so I'm not too terribly worried about the, the value of my silver coin other than the silver that's in it so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, the toothpaste is the abrasive material on this one. If anything's going to be abrasive, I don't think my finger is terribly abrasive. And there's a little example of how much cleaner it got just in one turn. So now I'm going to do it several times. Bam! See all the times I did it? Okay, I'm going to do it one more time probably for you. Look how shiny that sucker is. Alright, there's the toothpaste I use. It's a travel size toothpaste, Sensodyne, so it's for sensitive teeth. <coughs> a little cap on there. Alright, so there it is, Sensodyne. Fresh impact. It smells nice when you're cleaning up your silver. So now I'm going to show you how I do it. I go ahead and squeeze just a wee little bit. There you go, that's probably a little too much, but that's okay, that works. And I'm going to just rub it in a circular motion. I've done both the back and the front up to this point. It's easier to do it with two fingers, two hands, but uh, you know, holding the camera with one hand and spinning with the other, keeping it still is somewhat difficult. You can just see how the tarnish just runs right off. There you go, get it in focus. 1957, same dime, same head issue going on there. You can still see the scratch marks in the face. I'd imagine that if this was too abrasive, you probably would, uh, a lot of that would have worn down. But as I tilt the coin, you can still see all the same detail that was in it before. Uh, just now that you don't have the black background 
optical opticals uh, wise you can't see as much as you did with the dark in there uh, but it's all there still says Liberty still says 1957 very clear it's beautiful now so it was a really simple process I'll go ahead and make the video pause boom and I'm going to show you a before and after picture so you can see the difference between the two on your own. There you go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and uh, enjoy your day.